Hey everybody, welcome to Back to Action. Today we are going to be talking about the second Power Rangers holiday special uh, from season three, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I'm dreaming of a white ranger. So this is Gabe. I'm Chris P. And uh, we just rewatched this. So it's uh, it, put in context. If you haven't already, uh, you definitely want to go back and watch our uh, review of Alva's Magical Christmas. It was it was quite. I mean, do we want to? <laughs> we don't want to relive that. So um, three times I watched. Three it. times you watched that. Yeah, garbage. But whatever. So we're talking about the next one now, uh, and I'll say, watching this now, and I, I've seen it before. I've seen it a few times. Uh, I'm dreaming of a White Ranger. This is what I wanted Alpha's Magical Christmas to be. It's nothing overly elaborate or special. No. It's just heartwarming fun for Power Rangers fans at Christmas time when you're getting. You're getting a new episode, but you know it's not going to go anywhere in terms of the story. It's just there for the Power Rangers at Christmas time, and what are they up to? Yeah, and we find out throughout the episode that there's going to be festivities and whatnot, and a plan from Rita and Zed. Right, and it's funny because it does open kind of like Alpha's Magical Christmas, where you've got a bunch of kids uh, singing Christmas tunes, and you're like, "Oh, is this going to kind of be the it's same?" A little, it's a little, uh, it's a little choir that they have at the youth center that. Kimberly and I, uh, Aisha's conducting and Kim's playing along with the guitar. Uh, nice little nod there to Amy Jo Johnson's music career. That is true, yes. Uh, but you're like, oh no, is it, are those the kids from Alpha's Magical Christmas? And we looked it up. They're not. Yeah, they're not. They're not. They're slightly <laughs> better actors. No offense to the kids. Uh, but it, well, you know what the special does? I don't, I don't know if you call it special or an episode. It's an episode. But what it it does better off the bat is that the rangers are there right from the beginning the power rangers are immediately there uh we have um you know the characters ernie we got bulk and skull we have we have just it we feels a, like an we're episode. in the youth center there's a reason for them to be there it's just not random crap like alpha abducting kids because he's sad right you really fixated on that on the last video, I these have kids to say. should be with their families at Christmas Eve, and Alpha just brings them into the command center. I don't. Well, I, is I don't it the, go is it that different here? They just bring them into the use. I guess their parents drop them off. Yeah, I mean they're probably just there for the afternoon to sing for the uh, the little concert for the kids. Right, 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 right. So, um, but interestingly enough, this they don't actually morph into Rangers in this episode. No, I'm. Uh, you and I talked about this. I don't. I'm not going to speak for every season of Sentai. I don't know. But I have a good feeling that most of them don't have Christmas episodes, and even if they did, it'd be hard to adapt. You know, and we're already still using Mighty Morphin suits in season three anyway, but that's another story. So they're going to go to the North Pole, so their powers are useless because of the polarity of the North Pole. Right, right. Just, let's just go with that. Even though there's some very green trees there, and I guess, you know, the Power Rangers, I mean, they're pretty mighty teens, but... Man, they can they can withstand the the North Pole and pretty much just long sleeve shirts what's, and jeans. What's clearly a back lot in California. Yeah, you there's know? a very green tree in one shot. I'm like, man, it's <laughs> it, it, and it's it, it's not an evergreen tree. Either. Yeah, it's we're not talking. It's yeah, it's very green and it's. I guess you know they just had a very warm day at the North Pole when the Power Rangers decided to right, show. Right, right. Santa decided to accommodate them weather wise if it can control it. But I think as a kid, it was exactly what you looked for in a Christmas episode of a show you really liked. Yeah. So, you know, you got Santa, you got the elves, uh, you had the bad guys have a plan. Uh, you got some nice comic relief there. And uh, bad guys are foiled by snowballs, of course, which is kind of a little silly, but we have a run it works. We, we have a, a three running threads throughout the episode. Uh, they're decorating the juice bar slash youth center. And co uh, Tommy and Kim just keep trying to have that kiss under the mistletoe. Yes. There's a girl that Kimberly is friends with in the kids' choir, and she's just really sad because her dad won't show up. Bulk and Skull, I guess because that's their... That's what they have to do for Lieutenant Stone this week. They're going to be Santa and his elf. It's Santa and his reindeer. Yeah, that's right. You're right. It is yeah. reindeer. And then Rita and Zed want to kidnap Santa and make evil presents. When I was a kid, actually, I thought, man... Maybe just a few of those presents got out before the Rangers could stop them, and they got like a severed head, kind of like a Nightmare Before <laughs> Christmas. Wouldn't that be great? Like, ah! right? Yeah, yeah. Um, Everything gets resolved very nicely, though. I mean, there's like nice little plot threads, but yeah, it's it's not overly complicated. Uh, and I have to say, I think maybe one of the sweetest Bulk and Skull moments in the whole series. Oh, most definitely. Yeah, uh, the little girl decides to wait. Uh, she talks to Bulk and Skull when they're still standing there as the junior police officers, 
And after Bulk and Skull are just frustrated with having to deal with kids with their, there's the one kid and he has just a laundry list of presents. I want this and this and this and this. And it's like a giant scroll. And Bulk clearly has all the candy canes in his beard. He's like, ugh, these kids. But the little girl comes back because she's very happy that her dad came to see her sing. And that's what she really wanted. And she gave Bulk a kiss. And I was like, oh. And uh, he, I, Paul, Paul Schreier has a really great moment there, oh, like, yeah. just with his facial they're, expressions. They're so much more human than the Rangers, and they have been. Yeah. And you get they cut they cut the skull up. They they pan up the skull as a reindeer, <laughs> and he's just like given the most ridiculous. Uh, like I, I I would do it was like with the mushy gush. Like, <laughs> yeah, but it's it's sweet, and I I mean we're kind of in peak bulk and skull right now in the series. I they would had say. just found out the Rangers' identity in the last season. Now they're becoming good guys. There's, yeah. they're just slowly building them up and it's so good. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a, that's a nice slow burn there, but I, I'd say I, I would definitely put it up as one of their best moments in the whole series, which is staying a lot because they have a lot of great moments. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Um, got what else to say? I mean, I, I think this... I like that Rito, even though he wants to keep Santa hostage and command the elves to do this and that, he still decides to stay festive with a Santa hat. Right. And he gives Goldar a gift, and Goldar's very yeah. touched. And, and, and just... Rita's like, oh, yuck. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, huge step in the right direction, I think, for, you know, for coming from... It's way from... better than what they did before. It's it, mushy, it gushy stuff, but it's stuff that you're willing to handle. I hate the resolution of the plot, though. It's... Goldar and Rito are just standing there getting hit by snowballs. I'm like, you have swords! You can right. at least hit the Power Rangers and bludgeon them! You know, they Bill, don't have powers! Bill, Billy's a genius and he doesn't and that's have your, anything. That's your, that's your brilliant <laughs> idea, Billy. Just throw <laughs> snowballs at them. Well, you know what? And they don't even... They don't even prepare the snowballs in advance. They, no, they, they don't. drag them out and then they start making the snowballs. And, and... Rito and Goldar are just standing there taking it. I was like, yeah. do something! Yeah. I know, it's logic, whatever. But I mean, that's my only criticism. It, it's fun. Like it's, it definitely is. I, I mean, we're gonna get into Zio shortly, but uh, I, I would say this probably is definitely the best Power Rangers Christmas special of the Zordon era. I haven't seen the any. Saban era. I have. They started bringing them back in the Neo Saban era. I haven't seen any of them. Yeah, I don't. I don't know anything about that. Uh, yeah. but certainly the Zordon era. This is uh, probably the best one. So oh, most definitely. Check it out because you know what? All the Power Rangers episodes are now on YouTube, on the official Power Rangers YouTube channel. Um, so check that out. And uh, yeah. Well, I guess we'll see you on Zio. Merry Christmas. May the power protect you. Back to action.